I am not comfortable up here, so I'm going to get through this. I told pastor, he, he texted me and asked me if I would do this. I thought about it. And I thought about if I would heard my testimony for what I tell you tonight, I probably would have changed my life right then. So my story is, I was a freshman in high school. I got involved with the, the wrong crowd, got into drinking, got into drugs. I got away from the drugs, but the drinking, I couldn't stop. I couldn't get rid of it. I drank for years, years and years. So me and Roxy got married in 85. I drank every night. <clears throat> we had our first daughter in 88 and Jamie was born in 89. Those four years were rough. <clears throat> so I got divorce papers. <clears throat> I filled them out. I didn't do anything with them. And my mom and dad come to this church. Sorry, I get emotional. <clears throat> my mom and dad come to this church and said, you haven't tried God yet. <clears throat> so I got with the bishop. We sat down. Sister Kirk, thank you. Bishop, thank you. <clears throat> we sat down. They canceled us. I was here probably about four months or so, and everybody made me so comfortable. The men in this church I knew. <clears throat> so I told Rox, I said, it's what we need. If this is gonna work, this is what we need. We need God. God needs to do something in this marriage or it's over. So he did. And a few months after, me and Roxy started coming. <clears throat> I received the gift of the Holy Ghost right back there where the old restrooms are at. <clears throat> Roxy received the, the gift of the Holy Ghost. I think it was like six or eight weeks later. <clears throat> we both got baptized downstairs in a trough <laughs> in the kitchen where we put hot water in. Doesn't matter what you get baptized in, it's the name that you get baptized in, it makes a difference. <laughs> so, like I said, we started coming to church. Bishop, great man of God, I love you. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, Pastor. That, uh, <clears throat> me and Roxy this year will be married 39 years. <laughs> and we've been to this church going on 35 years. <laughs> so I tell you, if God can do it for me, he can do it for any of you. <laughs> because I was the one lost like anybody out there. <laughs> I went through a hard time. I really did. <clears throat> and you know, we heard Brother Harker talk just a couple weeks ago where he went to different classes. He went to AA. He did, he did this. He did that to get away from his alcoholism. I didn't have that. When I got the Holy Ghost, I went home that night and I dumped every bit of alcohol down the sink and I've not touched it since. God delivered me right away from my alcohol. And he can do it for you. Whatever your need is today, it may not be alcohol, it may be something else that you're going through. God can do it for you also. I'm not a special person. I'm not a special person. God can do it for you.